But how concerned should the White House be? It's obvious that the White House ought to be very alert to this, doing everything they can. The moment the world changed, members of our faculty stood up and moved to the forefront. Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been preparing for this moment, and now we're activated around responding to the coronavirus. It's never been more clear to me what Vanderbilt Pediatric Infectious Diseases has to offer as a division than it has been during this pandemic. Most of the cases and illnesses have been associated with the elderly and those with pre-existing or severe underlying medical conditions. I think the more groups we have working on it, all the better. This has been a strange pandemic because usually for respiratory viruses, children are the first and the most substantially affected. Why isn't it enough to show that a vaccine elicits, say, an antibody response? Just having the antibody that doesn't work to prevent disease, it's not going to cut it. This is a busy and very fulfilling time at Vanderbilt. My name is Kathy Edwards, and I am a member of the Division of Pediatric Infectious Disease. I'm beginning my 41st year at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt uh, is a place where we take very good care of children. At this point in my career, I don't think there's anything more important than mentoring and, and really helping young people um, decide what their passion is and, and how they can go forward. I'm Isaac Thompson. I'm a pediatric infectious diseases faculty here at Vanderbilt, and I also direct the fellowship program. A fellow coming here, I can't think of something that they might want to work on that they wouldn't have that opportunity here. Our program has tremendous diversity among specialties that are pursued. We really run the gamut of what's possible within Peds ID because we have a large division that's been curated in part for a diversity of expertise. We have world leaders in vaccine safety, vaccine development, virology, including coronavirus virology. Our division director is one of the world experts in coronaviruses. My name is Mark Dennison. I'm the division director of pediatric infectious diseases. Infectious diseases worldwide are still the number one killers and causes of mortality and morbidity. We think our fellowship is critical for the future of and not just pediatric infectious diseases, but of pediatrics in general. The type of person that has an interest in infectious disease, from our perspective, is those that are just curious about the world. They really want to understand new things. We're really well known internationally for vaccine studies, uh, studies of new methods of treating and preventing disease. Today we are working primarily on COVID, just like many of our colleagues around the country. We've been specifically tasked by the NIH to conduct phase three studies of candidate COVID vaccines. Right now we're enrolling into multiple large phase three studies. I can't think of a better time to be a pediatric infectious disease specialist. This is really what we were made for. For every patient we see, each one brings something new, but times like this are really concentrated. Times like this really allow us to take our training, take our experience, and at Vanderbilt, take our environment and then leverage those so that we can contribute to the public health of not only our country, but potentially the world. Fellow colleagues within the Institute for Global Health, we have activities all over the world. My big focuses are Mozambique, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. One of the unique things about Vanderbilt and, and the PEDS ID division in particular is that uh, not only do we have uh, world-class clinical care and research that's focused on domestic issues, but that engagement in global health uh, really provides uh, some unique opportunities for our trainees to get to experience things they may not have experienced before or to take the skills that they learn here and apply them on a global scale. You will work extremely hard in our fellowship program, but you will learn so much. It is one of the top training programs in the country. We have one of the largest children's hospitals in the country, and we have one of the most diverse, nationally recognized faculty in the country. It's the culture um, for me that's really continued to make me love this place more every day. I wanted to walk into a, a group that was going to be really supportive and embrace me, and that's exactly what I found here. So I've been really grateful um, to, to have the opportunity to be a part of this team. This may be the most important thing we do because we are pushing out the knowledge we have and, the, and the, the things we have to train new people. The fact that science knows a lot but doesn't know a lot. You know, we pursue science not because, you know, we want to make money, or we just want to find answers. We want to really make a difference. It's not about us, it's about our fellows and their success as future clinicians, investigators, and leaders in pediatric infectious diseases.